This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to this week's video. This week's video is an assortment of things that I'm absolutely loving in the shop. I'm going to keep it quite brief for each plant because I actually think I've got a few. Well, I've got a few. Oh, I don't have a ton, but I have a few. So I'm just going to take you through them and show you what I like about them, I guess. So why not? First things first, I am wearing my merch. If you didn't already know by now, if you don't know by now, you might be new here. I don't know. But this is my Long Boys merch. I'm wearing it in a small. It is actually a t-shirt, by the way. It's not uh, a long sleeved. I just happen to have a long sleeve top on underneath because I went to see my horse this morning and it was very cold. So I popped this on on top. But hey, it's a look, I suppose. Maybe. I don't know. It gives me like 2004 for like tight skater-esque vibe, I don't know. But anyway, link to that is in the description if you'd like to try it. And of course, as always, my wonderful feed is on Amazon. It should be restocked. I really hope the stock gets there in time because we're struggling to keep it in stock. I know I do it all the time, but thank you so much for the good reviews of my feed, guys. I literally see glowing reviews everywhere. I think I've yet to see something really not pleasant about this feed. I'm so proud. Thank you so much. I love the fact that you're enjoying it. I think it's great. I I love the fact it's actually working. Great. And it's really cool because I remember when I did the feed experiment, if you don't know what I'm on about, I will link the launch video to this feed. I did a whole video on launching it. But when I did that experiment and I put the results out for you, again, not super scientific experiment, but you get the point. When I showed you the results of that experiment, I wasn't sure if people would believe me. <laughs> but I actually think it's safe to say now you've all tried the product. You probably believe me on those results. So I'm really, really pleased. Thank you so much. Link is in the description for Amazon or you can buy it from my shop. It is still UK only. I keep getting those questions asked. I'm really sorry. We're working on it. I promise we're working on it. We're trying to do it in, in a different way than what we maybe planned to originally because we can't do it through Amazon alone. So we're getting some contacts and we're going to see what we do. But stay tuned because I think more products are actually about to release sort of soon in the next maybe three months, maybe a little bit more. So stay tuned, guys. There's more coming. There's more coming. You did not hear it from me. You didn't hear anything. I'm just saying. Right. On with the plants, in no particular order, I'm just going to pick stuff up and talk about them really briefly. Let's go. First things first is this little guy. And I do have more than one of these. I know I say that all the time, it's like a broken record. Of course, I've got more than one of these, I'm a shop. But I thought I'd pick this one. It's not actually the most variegated one I've got. I have others. But the others, to be honest, the others are a little bit too variegated. And maybe they've got like two leaves. But this one's quite cute. This is, I don't think it's a cutting. I think it's popped itself. This is Aglaonema. I think it's Manila's Pride. So really, really nice plant. And it is variegated admittedly this one is not that variegated but you know me i don't need stupidly high variegated specimens to be like "Ooh, this is really nice do you know what i mean so this one is really really cute i will try try guys and hide my little face so that it focuses on the plant it does struggle it does struggle it's programmed to look for a face so unless it oh no oh no oh no my god unless it finds a face in the plant it might not focus so there you go, that's him. I can't tell what the new leaf has on it. Let's have a look, gently, gently. I hate doing this, I hate doing this. Sorry if I'm about to give people anxiety. Uh, I think, I don't wanna push it, but I think it's about as minimal as this one. So it is very minimal, that's fine, but it looks very cute and compact though, and I'm very happy with it. So very, very cute, love him. I'll put him down. You should know what this is by now. This beautiful little thing here. I know he's small, guys. I know he is a small boy, but this is a propagation from this guy that everyone asks me about. This here is Mysterious Dark Boy. Yes, he really is that black. It's not camera trickery. He's wonderful. And this is a little propagation of him that I recently just checked about two days ago. He's almost ready. He has a little bit minimal root. He could do with a bit more. Then he's ready to go out. I do have some others. They're not as far along as this guy is, mainly because I propagate them quite aggressively. So a lot of my propagations of this guy are basically like one leaf and not a lot of root because they've just been literally lobbed to high heaven. So this guy is a bit closer to being sold, I would say. So he's very, very cute. Wanted to show you him. Just remind everyone how awesome he is. No camera trickery. He is that dark. This is a new leaf. It comes through... I really can't describe that colour because sometimes they look like they come in a bit of a purpley colour and sometimes they look a bit more bronze. It kind of depends. I can't, I can't really describe it, but literally same plant. I know you all love him and I do actually have, may as well mention it, I do actually have merch based on him, which I'll pop here. Link is in the description for that as well. It should just take you to the merch site where all of it is but that merch design is based off him. It's a little bit Halloween-y, but hey-ho. So yeah, he is not long ready. He is so cute. I just want a little bit more root on him. But other than that, he's growing rather beautifully, wouldn't you say? I think he's very, very cute. I love him. Right. 
I'm not doing this in any particular order, by the way, guys. I'm just picking things up as I see them on the floor. So the next plant I want to show you, and I know they're around a lot now. They're not super expensive. I don't care. I don't care about that. But if you remember, of, mm, I don't know, a few weeks ago, I did a video where I was basically like, I was tackling this massive tray full of just stuff that was overgrown. One of the things I actually decided to propagate was some variegated Ansonia because it was like a big vine of it. This is some of the propagations. It's not all. I've got a few that are actually doing really nice, but there's no point showing you like 10. This is one of them and he's coming out really, really nice. Now I'm going to mention this again. I know I say a lot, but I want to mention it again. I don't like half moon leaves on plants, right? For some reason, and I hope you all have experienced this at home, for some reason, this plant is a big exception. You can just keep getting half moon leaves. It doesn't, it doesn't bother you. It doesn't really, you don't tend to, I'm not saying it's impossible, but you don't tend to get like an all white leaf, an all green leaf and all white leaf and all green leaf it'll kind of just keep the half moon it's like it's got like a tendency to be more half moon so i say a lot about well i talk a lot of smack really about half moon leaves and how not dangerous they are but maybe not the best idea all the time i wouldn't say it about this plant really really cute i'll show him up close he has a teeny weeny bit of leaf burn but i think that was on one of the original cuts i've taken so that's fine we can we can allow that but the newest leaves look rather pretty and of course they're growing like weeds because these plants do so if you want something nice and variegated it's easy to handle you know what next time i do a beginner variegated plant video or whatever he's going in it because he's mint he's absolutely mint why i say mint by the way i mean he's cool english word i don't want to make people think that's mint it's not mint it's not mint but yeah really really cute they're coming along really cute i love them i actually really fancy having quite a big bush of these so i might sort of start grouping them and letting them be a big bush and then just propagate off the vines that come off i don't know i think it could be a really good way to store them let me know what you think Pause for one moment. I'd like to talk to you about the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. If you're looking to create and manage your own website online, then Squarespace might be exactly what you're looking for. Squarespace has a really great set of tools to help you with selling on your website and even a few different payment options. It's super easy to set up PayPal, Square for credit cards, and even Stripe, which allows all major credit cards, Apple Pay, and in some countries, even Afterpay and Clearpay, which allows your customers to spread out the payments for your products without affecting your sales. Awesome. If you want to create a really sleek looking website, either for yourself or perhaps you're setting up a web shop like mine, head to squarespace.com for your free trial. And when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com forward slash Kaylee Allen to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you very much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and back to it. Right, I'm gonna pick this guy up because I just used the word mint and it relates quite nicely back. This guy, won't linger on him too long, but this guy is a monster mint, right? It's one of a few I have. Now, I've been a bit worried because I have more than one mint in this shop. One mint I have that's just super stable, always mint, always mint, always mint. But then I have a couple of other mints that I've bought from obviously different people that when you cut them, they go back to being a little bit more albo for a bit and then they come back. And I've been sort of, I don't know, I've been a bit worried about it because the, the plant, you can't see it, the mother plant from this is just over there in some trays. And it did throw back a little bit album. And I was like, oh no, have I just been sold a plant that's sort of presenting mint at the time and then it's gone back kind of thing. But I'm pleased to say the last two new leaves of growth are back mint. So I've cut it and I want to see what happens. So I'm happy to update you on this, by the way, if it lives, because I was maybe a bit aggressive when I cut it and I put it in this with pond. Now it has three aerials that were very large and I've cut them down. Hopefully it won't die. But this is one of the leaves here. Show you up close. And then, da 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 da. The, what, the other one's much less impressive, by the way, but it's also not the newer one, so it's fine. That's the other leaf. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to get you to see it. Maybe I can. Hopefully, if you can see on the petiole, if I cover my face, hopefully there you should see there's actually quite a lot of variegation in the petiole. So I have high hopes for this guy. I know he's not super impressive, but I have high hopes for him. So we'll grow him out and see what he does. I hope he doesn't die. He shouldn't. He shouldn't. And if he's going to die, I think I'll catch him, you know, soon enough. But that's why he's potted up like that. It's a little bit ambitious, I won't lie to you, but we'll see how he goes. So I wanted to pick him up because he's brand new. I only did him like yesterday. So there he is. A little bit of mint for you. I do have nicer mints. I will grab him because he is my favorite, actually. My favorite favorite. And the only reason I didn't pick him up today is because... Uh, uh, I can't get him out of the little uh, tray. 
is because I feel like I show them all the time. But this is another mint. And even that doesn't look... So that looks quite arbory, but the plant is mint. Do you know what I mean? Like, look at this new leaf here. That's beautiful mint, that. It's quite nice. I used to not like the thought of mint monstera, but I've grown enough in person now, and I think they're actually all right. Do I like them more than Albo? Don't know. Don't know if I care enough, if you know what I mean. But I'll just show you that one, because this is, like, my favorite leaf ever. This is one of my favorite leaves in the whole shop right now. I should do a video on, like, favorite leaves, because leaves? Leaves. Leaves, Kaylee. Leaves. Grandma. Grandma. But yeah, I should do a video on that, because I think... Could be quite a good video. I do have loads of little chunks sprouting as well from mints. There's white monster in here. All that jazz. But he is a little bit separate because I wasn't sure about him. He looked a bit elbowy. So we'll see how he goes. Right. Next plant. Oh, this one's it's not interesting, but it, it's done something strange. Let me show you. This is weird looking, is it not? So... This is Homolamina rubescens pink variegate, variegate, I can't remember what it's called now. I know it's rubescens so. though. And for whatever reason, I think it threw dormancy actually. It's gone a lot smaller. Because honestly guys, it's not mist feeds or anything like that. It's just sort of, I don't know. I guess you could just say it's gone dormant because this is what it was like before. Now, it's this plant's quite annoying for me. It's stable and then all of a sudden it just isn't, it reverts. And then if you leave it, it just comes back. It's kind of it's kind of annoying to be honest, but I'm absolutely in love with the, the newest three leaves, even though this looks ridiculous and they are smaller. Look at how cute. Just look at how cute this little lad is in the middle. Look at that. Bless him. So I want to see now if he just continues to be variegated. I'm absolutely not going to cut him because you know what? At one point, I wish I still had a photograph of it. Probably on one of my older videos. This guy was like way bigger than this and he looked beautiful. And I took a cutting because obviously I thought, well, yes, I'll sell some of that. And it, it's never been the same. I actually have the, the cutting in like a shelf over there and it's completely green. So I am struggling with this plant in terms of variegation. And clearly it does weird things that other plants don't seem to do. But never mind, I, I will let it off because this is cute. So eventually, obviously, I'll probably just cut these big leaves off because it's just a bit unsightly. I'd rather pretend, guys, that it's a nice, small, stubby plant and we'll go from there. But I just wanted to show how cute he is. He is a nice plant. Let me know if uh, you have homolamina that do this because he's definitely had a feed. His roots are so strong. I don't know if you can see in the pot how strong they are. They're really good. So, hmm, I don't know. Let's keep an eye on him, though, and see how he does. All right, this next one's a bit random. I just really like him. There's not a real reason to like him. I just inexplicably really like him. And it is video of my favorites. So this here, believe it or not, well, you probably do believe it, is Syngonium Panda. Is it special? No, not at all. I think I like it so much, I'm going to be honest, because there's a lot in the pot. So there's one, two, three, four plants in this pot. And obviously it's making a really pretty like Instagram pot of plants. I do actually have slightly better specimens on another shelf but it just so happens that these ones have been together and I just think they look really nice. Again, not really special at all by a lot of people's standards. I just think it looks nice and it would make a good photograph. Probably photograph it soon because as it happens, wherever it's grown, it is actually pointing a little bit one way and Instagrammers among us will always know that if something is doing that, you're going to get a really good photograph out of it. So at some point, I should probably take a photograph of this because it is very, very pretty. So Syngonium Panda is basically characterized by, don't want to use the word, but I'm going to, sorry, a bit of a minty variegation that's kind of splashed, I suppose. And it can range from sort of little flecks like this to big chunks like this to a really nice sort of speckled frog pattern here. It's just completely chaotic and it's quite nice. And I guess if you do like the plant, maybe do clump some together, take props, push it all together and store them that way because this looks really nice. I prefer stuff like this, guys, to having, well, really any number of vines growing up a pole. I just, I don't know what it is. I'm so fatigued by coir poles or moss poles. I, I I can't deal with it anymore. I think the only exception where I don't mind something being on a pole is probably like Monstera Deliciosa, but you know when you buy like a regular small form Monstera Deliciosa from a shop and it's really like there's loads of vines around it, you can't really see the pole. I'm okay with that. But in general, not about the poles anymore. So stuff like this, I find really, really cute. So we'll put him down. Oh, and I'm going to show you this guy as well because, right, you, a lot of you are going to be very sad with me for the condition of this plant and I completely respect it. But if you will remember, we nearly lost it about three times over because it's in moss. And if the moss dries out and I'm not here for the weekend, it 
Ellie dies. So as evidenced by the incredibly long stem there, uh, it's, it's lost a few leaves, but I just, I have to talk about this plant. And yes, I still don't love begonia, right? It is a begonia. I can't remember which begonia it is. I still don't care much for begonia, but I just really like this one. I don't know why, I don't even like pink. I've said this all the time. Pink doesn't really get me, but there's something about this. I think it's because it's so dense. It's really dense. Look at this. I must put it up to the camera. Look at that. And that's my head next to it, by the way. Um, don't go wrong, I don't have the world's biggest head, but it's really quite something. It's a shame that I've done what I've done to it, but it's still really pretty. Um, I've been trying to propagate other begonia and it's gone south really quickly, so I don't really want to cut it, but hopefully I can not kill it again. Are those buds? Hmm, potentially, you know. Can begonia bud again from the nodes on the main stem? Because it actually looks like it is guys let me know in the comments uh if this can come back because it, it genuinely does look like there's buds all up it i'll try and show you but I, I don't think you're actually gonna be able to see it maybe you can maybe you can't these here look like new buds they really do but I, I could be wrong so let me know in the comments if i should not touch it and just you know try and take care of it um oh the back i'm gonna show you the back i love things with red backs Woo! that's so pretty yeah begonia breaking the rules for me it, i mean it, this looks ridiculous I, I completely get that but when you do it like this and you don't show the bottom looks really good so just pretend you can't see that right bringing me on to red backs actually i'll pick these up separately so my what do you call it let me just put them down on the floor Whew. right my philodendron squammy cold blood have famously not really grown for a while and i thought you know what i'm gonna be really on it with the feeding regimen i'm just gonna feed them a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more because the shop takes so much to feed everything you can't just do it like weekly it's just it gets out of control so at one point in time it was probably getting fed once a month but i've really tried to just keep it topped up and instead of just filling you know one of these with a hose which is a lot easier i've been taking the time to put feed in a watering can and watering it which does take a lot longer Longer, but I've got better growth and I'm actually pleased to say these things are finally growing they're finally growing so here's one of them just so you actually know what the plant is this is a little cutting that's now kicking off quite nicely so the cool thing about these plants is again no trickery Lekka's gonna drop guys sorry no trickery really is that dark and on the book you've got these so it's like a really deep it's like a really deep burgundy, but it's very dense. It's very, very dense. It doesn't wear off. I've not seen it wear off with maturity. Let me know if it does. Let me know. I haven't seen it happen. But yeah. Oh, and you get these obviously beautiful little furry stems. Can we see that, please? Thank you very much. So that's what that looks like. Very, very cute. And great example of the fact it's growing because I realize you can't really tell with that one. This is a really old um, cut leaf from a long time ago that's had, had a bit of shit, really, hasn't it? Um, God knows how long this has just been like that. Not died, but not done anything and I've finally been really on it with the feed and we've got this coming out of it and it's sizing up fast so obviously sorry Lekka that's the first one that's come out and then obviously we've got this and it's still new it's still hardening off we've got this bad boy here so that's coming almost like a bronzy tone you might be able to tell you might not and the back obviously I mean come on so yeah it's philodendron squammy cold blood very very nice and oh my god they're growing are they growing quickly probably not against other plants like I I've been talking about this on my Instagram today, right? You probably can't tell. This is taking the piss, quite frankly. I've been meaning to do something with these for weeks and they're now getting so big, I don't know what I'm going to do because I still haven't got around to doing it. But I've been feeding these, for example. And if you actually watch my videos back <laughs> over a few videos and you just literally just click the start of the video and have a look, this has steadily gotten more and more out of control each week. So don't know what I'm going to do with that. So that I would classify as quick growing, those crawlers, right? These definitely not so much. They're definitely slower. They're not the easiest plants to grow, I wouldn't say. If they're stable, fine, no problems. But if you're propagating from them, less so. But let's just see what happens with these because I'm actually very, very pleased that they're actually growing now. Very pleased. I feel like a proud mum. And yes, I can still feel like that in this shop, guys. It's difficult, but I can still feel that way. Right, speaking of good growers as well. I feel like I'm making really good links between my plants today. I have this guy. Now... <sighs> I, I'm trying to work out what kind of feed um, regime these guys like because they actually do remain a bit paler than what I would think would be necessary. So before I take you on a tour, there's a leaf here that I'm rattling, right? That's old. This is older still. This is one of the original leaves, so it has had a battering. This is slightly newer. I still don't think it was with me. I think the first leaf that's come out with me was actually this smaller one because it was just after they'd been shipped. But, but the new leaf is more 
what I would like from a plant. And yes, obviously I fed it with my feed. So I'm very, very pleased with all that. By the way, obviously everything I'm feeding the shop is with my feed. Um, but that is what came out just after import. So, I mean, that's going to happen. Root disturbance, blah, 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 blah. But it's now taken off quite a bit. I think they're just paler plants in general, you know. What was this again? This was a hybrid of Philodendron Sharonii with... Jose Bono, I think. Um, you should be able to sort of definitely see the Sharonii in there. That's all the, the rutching. And the Jose Bono is more of the, the paddliness. But when I think of Philodendron and Sharonii, it, it is a bit paler, isn't it? I think. Um, and Jose Bono presents a bit paler anyway, I suppose, because of all the variegation. I don't know. But I'm just finding them a little bit pale. But maybe it's also because I'm used to looking at like dark types, velvet types, Monstera Deliciosa, dark anthurium. Maybe it's just that. If you think it's a little bit pale, disregarding obviously the shipped in leaves, like this leaf here we'll judge on this if you think that's a little bit pale let me know maybe i'm just a bit sensitive now to it i don't know but what i will say is the, the growth on it hell yeah if i've gone from that to that what what more can you want these are really easy by the way that's the only thing i would say that was not easy about them is just judging maybe a feeding regime but i'm gonna keep going because that's rather nice that's oh i love that actually it's really really nice so i'm gonna put him down he just represents all of them that i've got i've just picked up one to show you but i'm actually really happy with the new growth so he is impressing me he is impressing me right what have we got Oh, I almost forgot about this guy. How rude. Right, I'm going to show you the realities of propagating this when there's less airflow because I actually think this plant prefers a little bit more airflow. So this is, well, it's obvious what it is. It's Philodendron Gloriosum. Variegatum. Variegate Gloriosum. So the original leaf must have been maybe this one. Um, I've kept them a little bit too clustered up, I think is what's happened. And they're not getting any airflow and they're getting a little bit, you know, a little bit brown. So they need separated out. They need way more room to breathe. I get that. So that's happened. Then this leaf, ah, this leaf's just been battered mechanically. I don't really know what's happened there. That's an older leaf there. But the new one, now that I'm trying to really make sure that they're okay, has come out and it looks a bit like this. It's very new, by the way. It's not even hardened. So if it looks a little bit paler, that is why it will go nice and dark. Look at that. Look at the color difference. But how pretty is he? Oh my goodness, he's so pretty. So I'm actually going to be having, I don't know whether I want to use the word sale, but I'm going to be selling a few of these soon, maybe at nicer prices. So Keep your eye out on the shop. Obviously, I'll put something on my Instagram about it when it happens. Probably in the next couple of weeks, I would say. Can't be this weekend. I'm actually really busy. I'm at the the RHS Urban Show in Manchester in the UK tomorrow. As of seeing this, if you're seeing this on the Friday, I'm there tomorrow. So I, do, I don't have time this weekend to do it, basically. So it's going to have to be a bit later on. But I just want to show you how cute they are. And honestly, it ain't just him. I've got two trays worth. And I, I pick a plant. A lot of them are throwing very highly variegated. Some of them are throwing too high, too high. But in general, they're doing pretty well. So I wanted to mention him because you can't not. How pretty. I mean, come on. Even with a bit of damage, how pretty. Love these plants. Love these plants. Oh, and the quickest update of anybody's lives. The tie. <laughs> I'm saying nothing. Literally, I just want to show you the new leaf that's coming in. It's still getting larger. I mean, it hasn't hardened or anything yet. It's very floppy, so I don't want to touch it too much. That was the leaf previous that was stuck in the petio. And this is the new one. Start to fenestrate, which is really, really nice. It's happening nice and early. Looks reasonably compact, I guess. It's certainly better than what it was. I would love to say that. But I'm kind of happy with it so far. So that's him looking very cute. Yeah, he looks pale, but literally, he's not long um, gone from this to this. He's not long unfilled so he's very very cute but he wasn't really part of the update he just happens to be sat next to the mint so pop him down and thank you that is that is all the plants so thank you very much for watching this i don't know what you call it my favorite plants right now because it definitely is thank you very much for watching this video if you like this video please leave a like down below let me know that i am doing content that you enjoy if you have any content requests again please do feel free to leave a comment maybe i might see you tomorrow if you are in the manchester area and you happen to be in that show and you're seeing this video now sorry that's my heater my heater has terrible timing so i'm gonna have to start shouting anyway thank you very much for watching guys merch is in the description my feed right here is also in the description i think the website for the feed is there as well where you can go and view basically the comparisons between this and a competitor feed blah 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 all in the description and with that i will see you next week guys bye